Hey, welcome back to Biz Talk TV. I'm your business host and guide, Michael Rager, and it's time we're going to talk bookkeeping with our favorite bookkeeper, Nora. How are you doing today, Nora? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Great to see you again. Great to see you too. All right, let's talk about it. The number one imp most important thing in business is cash flow, right? Yes, definitely. Without so cash flow, this is the oxygen for your business. It's so. nothing. It's <laughs> nothing. So, as a bookkeeper, how do you work with your clients to ensure that cash flow is where it needs to be and, and, and how do you help them see and tweak when things may be getting into trouble? So this is actually starts with the budget. So yeah. if you have a budget that you go off, that's when I tell you, okay, don't make a decision without going to that budget, refer to it. Now, a financial decision. So if you have something shiny object, first, determine if this is a shiny object or not and then go to your budget see what's in there is it if, for example if it's for marketing do you have a marketing budget okay is it dedicated for something or not like do you do you think this is going to give you more return on investment if so okay maybe you need to move something around but don't just say yes for financial uh, decisions before looking at your budget this is the only thing this is the first thing you want to look at and be on top of your bookkeeping be on top of your bank account and make sure like everything flowing the way it flows so as a business owner you know we get busy and we forget to do this and we get moving and we really don't see it's an issue until you go to try to pay bills right mm -hmm. and, and yeah <laughs> it's that reconciliation and all that boring stuff we don't want to do how do we make sure that we get that on target? You know, working with a bookkeeper like yourself, what are some tips and tricks that we need to be looking at to make sure we get this stuff going through and we see the results, you know, instantaneously? So you need to actually be in communication with the bookkeeper. So make sure you have someone to do that. At least like, you know, if you're busy, have an assistant, have someone just communicate with your bookkeeper, make sure like they give the stuff on time. They actually um, take a look of what's going on, updating everything like, oh, okay, we have this this month. Meet with your bookkeeper or accountant like every month, at least once, if not twice. This is very important in order to plan. If you have something actually um, big coming, you want to plan ahead of time. You want to make sure you keep your tax planning uh, top of mind. You want to keep money uh, aside for saving. If you know like profit first concept, this is really how you want to manage your financial financials. So when you get a revenue, you want to make sure you have uh, Uncle Sam's cut uh, saved and you want to have like your um, your uh, expenses everything you're saving you want to have everything and also make sure you have tax planning along the way because you don't want to save your cash and end up paying it on taxes you want to make sure if you can invest it or if you're planning to invest your cash uh, don't don't just make it go to Uncle Sam like make sure okay maybe you need to spend this money before December 31st because if you delay it, you're going to pay it for something else. We're going to pay it on taxes. So just invest it now instead of investing on January. A lot of people I see, they, oh, okay, we're not going to care about this investment right now. We're going to do it early next year. They Before they realize, they don't do uh, tax planning, so they end up paying that on taxes and then this project is delayed. So you want to really be sure, like, well, how much cash do you have? How much revenue you're making? And how are you going to pay it? So, you know, bookkeeping, cash flow management, and tax planning are, you know, very important in order to keep your business running. Is it simple? I know, I know you mentioned uh, profit first, and I, you know, I like that concept, you know, pay yourself 10% and then start breaking out the chunks. Is there a way for business owners to automate that or make it simple or how do they do that without having to think? Because, you know, if you're a business owner like me, I don't want to think. I just want to mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. <laughs> so have someone with you, you know, like if it's uh, your bookkeeper, if it's an assistant, just like just to make that transfer. Now, if you, for example, have, you know, you have some cash coming on the beginning of the month. So, you know, you know the date. So if you know the date, maybe schedule a, um, a money transfer for saving or whatever. So just so you can transfer that money 
automatically but if you don't know when is the cash coming just make sure you're looking at your finance finances at least at least mm. once a week to make that transaction and don't ever make a transaction without really make sure this is in the budget or this is actually can be budgeted for and you can afford it so that's the main thing so but you know you make it like a daily habit a weekly habit it depends on the type of the business okay yeah because it's one of those things it's just the, the habits we need to get into in a business and one of the main things we have to be looking at is cash flow and bookkeeping and just mm -hmm. staying in constant contact with our bookkeeping here to make sure that things are right so if you could give uh is there any softwares that work better than others to help us is, is, is it quickbooks is it zero i use wave do they all work mm -hmm. the same or does it really matter so I prefer QuickBook. I never use Zero, but a lot of people use QuickBook. So like I prefer that. Um, other software don't really uh, give the reporting capacity. They don't have the reporting capacity that QuickBook has. Plus, if you want to change accountants, it's easier to change with QuickBooks because a lot of us like use uh, QuickBook and it gives you like a lot of reporting capacity. You can do budgeting there. You can do a lot. So QuickBook definitely is a great software to use. I cannot talk about Zero, but, but I haven't seen so many people using uh, Zero, and I, I didn't include it in my practice. Oh, uh, yeah. My, uh, my partner is from Australia, and he says almost 85% of the businesses in Australia use Zero. So it's oh. kind of interesting. So, all right, we got one minute. We got to wrap it up. If people want to, you know, talk to you and figure out how to uh, get their cash flow managed and moving in the right direction, how do they get a hold of you? They can go to my website, norisbooks.com, and then they can go to contact us and book a call, and we can get into Zoom and see how can I help them. That's awesome. Thanks a lot, Nora. I really appreciate it. I look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you. Same here. See All you later. Right. I'm, I'm Michael Rager, your business guide here at BizTalk TV. We'll be back with more right after this.